Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a sketchbook tour for you. So this is sketchbook number three and I started it in February 18 and finished it in June 18. I decided to go with a different sketchbook this time so I went with a Canson 180 sketchbook which is supposed to lie flat. However, it's quite thick so it decided to fall apart so I don't think I would get this sketchbook again. Now because it's quite thick I'm going to try and get through this as quick as I can because I don't want it to be a really long video. So let's get started. So inside my sketchbooks I always like to set goals so I'll zoom in a bit here. So for this sketchbook's goals I wrote draw random things, make more book cover pages, so like full pages, stick things in, more diary style pages, date each day and have fun. Here is a quote saying it's kind of fun to do the impossible, big ideas have small beginnings, this is my Instagram at m underscore drawings 05 and my Twitter which is at emilyarts underscore zoom out again. <laughs> this is my little robot character. The sticker you can purchase on my Redbubble store. I'll leave a link below. So in my sketchbooks I always like to write an open note. So for this one I put, okay so we're on to sketchbook number three. Sketchbook one and two I saw a style begin to develop and made several notes to help me keep track and work on improving in this sketchbook. I hope to do the same but try new things and make more diary entries this way I can look back on memories. Also I'm not going to worry about bad art, it's all about learning. So this is just a random um, blue big pen sketch and I shaded this in with a color raised pencil. Okay, let's do this. Sketchbook number three. So, I was trying out a different style here from Calvin Hobbes. So I took a walk with my monster. So you will we'll see this um, monster a lot in this sketchbook. And he sort of represents my emotions. You know, like um, the negative ones. <laughs> Um, this is my robot and a Pokemon <laughs> and I drew this in um, big blue pens and I used a Tombow brush pen. This is a drawing tutorial from Rodgon, the artist. You can also find him on YouTube, so different head, state, uh, head shape uh, styles. Then this I used that tutorial and tried to do a full illustration and I used my new Copic Chow markers. I think they're really cool. Here I put really need to work on backgrounds because this isn't that good. <laughs> uh, here I was just thinking about what to do. Um, this is actually where I was really anxious about my driving test. Uh, I really, really want to pass, but my monster's following me still. But I'm going to do it. I will. Positive, remember, Emily. We've got this. Remember <coughs> the passion we had on our first lesson. And I did pass. First time, I think I only got like three minors, which I think's good. <laughs> um, here I was just practicing with my black India ink and that's my robot character again. Another illustration, this is Draw with Jazza fan art. Here I wanted to try and make an effect where as if like you're zipping the page down to open up these little characters. 
<laughs> this one really makes me laugh because he looks he looked really like fed up when I drew him so I wrote as fed up here <laughs> and then I put really want to make a piece of art with a koala I think they are yeah. cute <laughs> and I put this drawing brings me joy <laughs> here I messed up this page I covered it in gouache and wanted to write over the top but it didn't work it just started peeling away as you can see um, here I drew me looking at a cupcake because I turned 20. <laughs> this is Don't Starve inspired art. This was one of my favourite characters to play as, Wendy. Here I was thinking about how I could improve my, my Instagram. This is my Hello March illustration. I did this on watercolour paper using my watercolours and then I stuck it in. This is like an original idea for my robot. And here I was missing the old times. This is a little ink project I was working on but it didn't turn out right. <laughs> yeah, um, this is some art inspired by a film called Mr. Megorium's One Emporium, which is a really good film by the way. You should definitely watch it if you haven't already. <laughs> this is a note saying, so I got my first car today, oh my god, won't be able to drive it till tomorrow, I'm so excited. I can't really draw cars, so just ignore that. <laughs> Here I drove by myself for the first time. I actually couldn't believe that I'd done it. It was so, so scary, but I managed to do it. So I'm like, kind of like, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, this is a story to tell. Hashtag, the time I got stuck in the snow. <laughs> okay, so I drove to work. It was snowing a little. However, the snow picked up and it was setting on the roads. I was working 11.06. However, I left work early, 20 minutes early to be exact. My car was covered in snow. I managed to clear the snow off my car. Uh, the roads were like glass and cars were skidding everywhere. I was already freaking out but it wasn't until I couldn't see a thing and my car was sliding everywhere. I was shaking, my heart was racing and I thought I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I phoned my parents and they met me halfway. I was crying uncontrollably, honestly never felt feel like it. Hopefully I will never experience anything like that ever again. <laughs> it was absolutely horrible. I even like tried to wind down my window to try and get people to help me but they just kept driving past. <laughs> um, so at this point I was struggling with art block. Then I decided to do some like tattoo designs. Um, having a rough day again here. This was an original sketch for my Hello Hello April illustration. Uh, working on my robot character. Still haven't decided on a specific design. Um, this is the finished Hello April illustration. Some more tattoo designs. This was a speed paint video of an of a astronaut. You can actually see this. I'll try and link it up here if you want to watch it. Um, this is another little idea, thumbnail kind of thing. And I was listening to Twice by Little Dragon. That's a really good song if you want to listen to it. Here I was trying to work on some backgrounds, I guess. Um, I wrote something here saying, didn't think about what I was drawing today, just put pencil to paper and this is what happened. There's a monster hiding in the mirror, so my monster's like griefing again. <laughs> uh, super in a drawing mood today, I drew this from my imagination and I'm so pleased with it, might actually make it into an actual piece. 
I haven't done that yet, but we'll see in the future. For this page, I decided to draw some birds, and these are pigeons. So I really like how the faces look here. <laughs> They're really cute. Um, I also wrote a note saying I love how derpy looking pigeons are. Here is just a silhouette painting I did. You can also um, watch this, watch me paint this on my channel. Um, just a random page saying losing my mind. <laughs> Here I was practicing some storyboarding for my robot. Some more random sketches of me and my monster. Really trying to draw more every every day actually. I don't want to lose interest in it, I can't. Uh, it's the one thing I find peace in. More monster <laughs> again. <laughs> me like falling into the monster. I thought <laughs> this was really funny. <laughs> Let me zoom in on that face. <laughs> Here I tried to paint on a Polaroid but it really didn't work. Here what is the middle of the book which is what I meant by when it lays flat, if I can actually focus this. And so I thought, oh, I'll try and draw a galaxy. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus um, the camera. So I decided to draw a galaxy and this is what it turned out like. Here I decided to do some more styles. I actually really like this one. Um, reference from Pinterest again, so I was using different references. Here's another school drawing I did. I do like drawing schools, I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> um, I love summer but I hate warm nights. I think it was really warm. I couldn't sleep. Um, I wrote a note here saying I must learn how to draw bodies and clothes that way I will be able to finish character designs. Here's another random thing, I'm not going to lift it up but it does suffix so it must not be very good. Another tattoo design, um, a sketch from a sketch I did of a Pinterest model. Some more face sketches. I was really struggling to draw faces this day and <laughs> put a note saying under here lies a terrifying sketch. <laughs> I'm not lifting it up. <laughs> Pia, I mean, I don't know exactly, I can't remember what, the, what this was about but I had said I have to open up my heart. My mum's just saying keep it locked away and then rip, here lies my heart. <laughs> then I decided to put some positive quotes in, so good vibes only, it's the little things in life. Some more sketches. I didn't know how to fill this space, so that's what I wrote here. <laughs> I do really like this one, it's a reference from Pinterest. So I decided to have a go at drawing it and then put a background to it. Here's another silhouette drawing. I couldn't sleep. Here is some sketches for a secret project that I've been working on. I can't really talk about it yet because it's not completely ready to share yet. And then this is like one of the finished designs I came up with. Um, this day I felt so happy and then my monster's in the corner looking worried. <laughs> This is my Hello May illustration. Then this is my character development. Loving how this character design is going. Think it might be time to design the next character. Um, I think this is Totoro. I think that's how you say it. I thought I'd try and draw him a 
bus stop sort of thing while it's raining and then like there's a little bird on top of his head. Now this is a little sketch I did and I've actually made this into a digital piece which I'll pop up on the screen now so you can see it. Then it was May so I thought I can't go through May without drawing a mermaid so I tried to draw one and it didn't turn out right. This is something I need to practice next year. So, um, another skull sketch and then my monster's back again. Here I did some random sketches of boys because I'd hardly draw them because I find them a bit difficult. Here I drew some koi fish, one in colour, one in black and white. I think they're really pretty looking fishes. I like the colours on them. Here I'm trying to sleep and my monster's saying you will not sleep tonight. Um, I was listening to Are You Ten Years Ago by Privis. That's also another good band if you want to listen to them. Here I try to draw a full illustration of a person but I couldn't get the head right so I just draw a box just drew a box on top. Here I couldn't draw so I just scribbled and all over it. <laughs> Here's some Sara inspired art. I used to play the game Kingdom Hearts um, on my PlayStation when I was younger. It's a really good game. <laughs> um, this I was actually doing this digitally, but I haven't finished it yet. Um, another random drawing. I wasn't feeling good this day. Um, <clears throat> Another tattoo design. I actually really love this one. I was thinking of getting it, but I'm a bit of a chicken. <laughs> so we'll see. Here's another space illustration. I love this one. It's actually one of my favourites. Here's some more character pose practices with a big pen. This, whoops, this is another silhouette drawing. I actually like how the watercolour background turned out on this. You can sort of see that it's in a forest. And I wrote, there must be a way out of this and a way into my enchanted dreams. Another creepy skull. <laughs> I was having a tough day again this day. I was worrying about things. <laughs> um. This is another robot drawing, changing his design again. <laughs> Trying to find balance, obviously not correct, I wrote there. Um, I was having a rough couple days here. Here is an and an original idea for a project that I've been working on. I actually printed this on glossy photo paper but it seems to be rubbing off. I <laughs> don't know why. I mean I let it dry but it's still like rubbing onto this page. Another rough day. Um, this is a new style that I was trying out and I actually really like it. I used um, my Copic Chow markers and Black India ink. Here's another random skull drawing. This is my Hello June illustration. Here I decided to try out some Posca pens which I'd seen online. So this is a small little birdie that I drew. Then I tried to make like a full illustration with it, but I noticed that when you fill in large space, large spaces, sorry, um, it leaves like scratch marks, which I don't think is very good. Here I decided to draw Bianna Bova's cute little 
drawing. Then I tried to draw a penguin using those Pasca pens but it didn't turn out how I wanted it. This is my robot again. I actually really like this sketch so I think I might make it into a digital piece. Um, another page filled with positive quotes. Some more loose sketches. Um, this is a drawing for Childhood Week created by Beatrice Blue. So I decided to draw Anne the Last Airbender. Um, another rough day. Here is a finished illustration for a character I designed. This um, this day I couldn't sleep again, so I just decided to draw a random page filled with ugly things, <laughs> and I was just really frustrated that I couldn't sleep. So you can see like this. <laughs> it's terrible. Let's let's try and move on quick. Um, another idea. Some more ideas for my robot, so I did some thumb thumbnail sketches. Here I was searching how to conquer fear for good and got my mum to say I'll keep you safe. Here I was staring I was staying at my grandparents' house. Um, I was house sitting for them so I was alone. And it was like night time and I was really scared, so that's what inspired this drawing. Some more ideas for a project. Another quote saying, Everything will be so good so soon, just hang in there, don't worry too much. Now, this is um, a finished illustration of the robot design. I actually really like this style with the round head, and so I think I might keep him to, to this. I actually made it into a digital piece, which I'll pop up onto the screen now. This is a random drawing of someone falling into a hole saying help. Some more random drawings. Uh, this day I had the best day ever. Um, here I stuck in some ideas for a project. Drawing my monster again. Um, I was really struggling to draw again, I just couldn't think of anything so I just, just had to scribble <laughs> all over it and write my mind is a complete mess. So more sketches, I used um, my blue collar race pencil for this. At this point I purchased an iPad Pro because I've seen that people are using Procreate and I wanted to make some digital art. So. I made some of these and stuck them in. This is actually my avatar design, which you can which you can see on my YouTube channel logo. Another sketch, and then we've got to the end. So for the end of the sketchbook, um, the Incredibles film had recently come out, the new one, and I decided to make some fan art for it. So I did. Violet as she's my favourite character. So I finished it on the 27th of June 2018. However for this one I didn't write like a sketchbook reflection like I do in my previous sketchbooks. So that's it. I just want to thank you all for watching. I hope it wasn't too long <laughs> um, and if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and comment below what you think or if you have any questions just let me know below and I'll hopefully see you next week with another video but if not stay tuned and I'll see you soon.